everyone, my name is Dr. Grace and I am a doctor working in Nigeria and I'm here to tell you five reasons why I don't like pediatrics. Like, I can never be a pediatrician <laughs> and I want to tell you five reasons why. So the first reason is because I don't like collecting samples from children. I don't like doing blood work, anything that has to do with tests for blood investigation. I don't want to collect it from children because First of all, they have tiny veins, okay? No problem, they have tiny veins. But at least you can see the vein, right? Yes, you can see the vein. And then, yeah, you're prepared every day to take the sample. And the next thing, the child is seeing the needle and is screaming, is running. Some children that are even small, at least the parents can hold them. And I can take the sample, even though the child is crying. But at least, at least I can take the sample. But it's all those ones that have grown. <laughs> That are like seven up that will be fighting with you, that will be screaming like you're about to kill them, that will want to bring down the building because you're taking blood from them. I don't like it. Ha! There's even one that I wanted to, to take the blood sample from. We told the mother to just stand up. Now, then one of my um, this thing, colleagues just hired the child, and then the second person hold the hand while we were collect the sample. You guys need to come and see drama that day. You need to see the fight, the scream. And you know the worst part? You just have to collect the blood because you want to assess the child. You want to do investigation to know what is going on. So we still need that blood. So even if the child is crying from now to tomorrow, we still need to collect that blood. <laughs> that is just one of the reasons I don't like pediatrics. Like, I can't deal. I can't do that. Which kind of stress is that? What kind of, what kind of stress is that? <laughs> anyway. Now, a child comes into the children's emergency room sick. And I'm like, okay, madam, that's the mother. What happened to your child? You will tell me fever or fever that the child has been hot. I want to ask you when this time, tell me two weeks ago. That is, you allowed your child to be hot. <laughs> For straight two weeks, you not do anything. You not come to the hospital, you not do anything. You didn't do anything. You did not think it would be wise to bring your child. Or your child had diarrhea for two weeks, you not do anything. You're not bringing your child when your child is about to, to go to heaven. Because I will not use that word here. And you now want me to perform magic. Please, am I a magician? You will not be shocked. I'll be asking you basic questions. Okay, when is this time? What's the cause of the issue? You will not be screaming, Doctor, help me, Doctor, help me. The anxiety. I know, I know. It's not easy. I know, me, I know. It's not easy. You have a child and you feel like your child is about to die. I know you'll be anxious. I get it. But you see that whole anxiety thing? I'm trying to save your child. You're dragging me. Doctor, please. I'm like, oh, madam, wait now. Let me do something. You're still dragging me. Please, please save my child. You see all that drama? I don't like it in pediatrics. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. If it's an adult medicine now, that the, the, the man is about to die. And I explain what is going on. At the same time, I'm saying, okay, we need to get this medicine right now to be able to help this man to reduce the food or something. The, the, the parents, or not even the parents, the relatives of the man who runs, who can get drugs, or they'll be like, okay, I understand. But I see parents, that's me, you're talking. It's not even entering here, it's bouncing on the forehead. All their own, you save my child, save my child, save my child. I'm like, please, let's bring things to save the child, okay? Listen to what I'm saying, even the instruction, because I'm also with you. I, I want to save your child, but no, you are still crying, you are still screaming. Ha, ah, God. You watch it when you come to hospital without money. What do you want me to do for you? <laughs> Where should we start from? Where? How should we do it? Like, huh. I'll not start borrowing hand gloves from different people. Or like, patients already admitted. I'll not borrow from their parents. But then, please give me hand gloves. Let me help this emergency case. Or please, that water for ingestion. Let me, and syringe. Let me please help this woman. I'll start borrowing from different people. Hey! Or maybe the, the the emergency pack, like the the one that your nurses have has finished because we're finishing it on your child and we need to get your own so that we can have enough to work with. You say, no, you don't have money. You don't come to us without money. But the one that annoys me is that they tell me their husband is coming. Or, like, he's coming. The husband is coming. Maybe the husband will not come for three, three, three hours to pass for see here my husband is coming. Madam, the fact, it might not even be their fault too, but this is just why I don't like pediatrics. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate it. And I hate it. The third reason why I don't like pediatrics is that the therapeutic window 
that is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me let me break it down. So you're giving drugs to a patient, a child. Now every child has different weights, like they can be three kg. The you might be giving, for example, okay, try as on to two children, but it has different weights. One can have three kg, the other one can be maybe even fifty kg or even forty kg. But the dose, the amount of medicine, the amount of the amount of antibiotics you're giving to the baby that is 3.1 kg is not the same. They're going to give the one that is 40 kg, 35 kg, or 20 kg. So you have to calculate. Now, if you are not careful, <laughs> if you are not someone that can check something two times, <laughs> the tendency of making mistakes is high. If you don't come down to calculate, ah, you know the worst part. If you don't know the dose in your head, you have to start asking your neighbor, please, well, what is the dose to calculate for this particular antibiotic? Because every every drug has a different dose. It's not the same. So you have to ask, please, well, what is the dose for this particular drug so that I can give this particular child that's doing 3.1 kg? Now, if you're not very careful, you can make a mistake. And you can either overdose or underdose. Now, that is the problem with pediatrics. If you overdose, you can kill the child. And then if you underdose, that is, you're not giving the particular drug that will, like the particular amount of drug that will save the child, the child can also die. And it can be so annoying. It can be so annoying, like, extremely annoying. Because in adult medicine, everyone takes the same dose. Like, you're if, if an adult is taking a particular drug that is one gram, another adult that is weighing, even if it's 70 kg, the other adult that is weighing 50 kg. As far as an adult, you're going to take the same dose <laughs> of that antibiotic. But a child's own must be calculated. Now, an adult that is coming with a problem, maybe, okay, three adults coming in with maybe HHS. That's, in fact, forget about what I just said, but three adults come with a particular disease who use a particular drip bag. Maybe five, that 500 ml drip bag. And it will be okay for that adult. We don't need to do. Um, this particular adult is wearing this is okay, so you do this. No, but you see, for children, they are driven, <laughs> the fluid that they are taking in is calculated. Ah, they don't even use normal drip bag, they use what they call solo set that is calibrated because they are very, very tender. You calculate it, you calculate how many drops come now from that solo set in, in over 24 hours. Everything is calculated at any mistake. You're going to overfluid. I say overfluid, you're going to overload that child with fluid. When an adult, you're just expected to use maybe 500 ml for just that day. That is going to work for that adult. But see, for a child, you cannot just say, okay, let's buy 500 ml or bring guys that it and hang. Let's see be good. No. <laughs> no. The amount of fluid given to a 3.1 kg is different from the amount of fluid given to a 40 kg child. And sometimes it can be so annoying. Because you just want to do fast and save the child, but then you have to calculate, 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 and you have to carefully calculate so that you don't overdose the child and kill the child. <sighs> I feel like I'm pouring out my heart here. <laughs> yeah, so the next reason, I don't even know how many reasons I'm giving you so far, but another reason why I don't like pediatrics is because the punishment in pediatrics is brutal compared to other units the punishment they give you <laughs> for either maybe you give a drug to a child and you don't chat that it has been given so that the next person that is coming for the next shift will know that or see that oh yeah this particular drug has been given and it's going to be given maybe in the next 12 hours you don't write it you don't chat it you don't say the drug was given by 6 a.m and then the next dose is by 6 p.m. You don't write it. <laughs> the punishment is awaiting you. <laughs> if a house officer just knows that either you're going to do extra call or just so that one week has been added to your three months in that particular department called pediatrics. Like they don't joke with their punishment, so yeah, <laughs> you'll be punished. <laughs> Even for the smallest thing that might not even cause harm, you'll be punished. You shall be punished. Whether the devil likes it or not, <laughs> you'll be punished. Hmm. There's nothing like, oh, sorry, I forgot to write out this. Nope. Just know that you have been punished too. You have been punished. 
so that you never in your life think of making that mistake again. Ha! Never, ever, ever in your life. And then the seniors there are very, very strict. They are very strict. Like, forget though, they can laugh you to play with you, but don't take it as they are your friends. It's a lie. They're not your friends, so they're your they're just training you. So don't even don't remove that mentality that okay, they're laughing with you, they are cool now. Like, like take everybody as they're your seniors, though. Even if they're laughing with you in your head, they're your seniors. Don't disrespect them. Don't try and be too funny because then they want to punish you. <laughs> so that you don't feel bad though. <laughs> like you don't take it to hard that my friend is punishing. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Just in your head. This is my senior. Whether she's laughing at me or not, she's going to punish me if I do something bad. So I make sure that I don't do anything bad so that they will not punish me. Yes, they are very strict. See, they are very strict too. They have like, ah, they want to punish you. <laughs> And they have the highest amount of female doctors in the hospital. So you know women now. <laughs> I rest my case. Anyway, with these few points of mine, <laughs> I hope I have not confused, but I've told you why I don't like working with pediatricians. Like I feel like the the, the amount of times like the amount of time I spent in pediatrics that some occasions where I feel like beating the parents for some things that they say, for some mistakes that they have like they made in the past. Like you see that fever? Your, your child's body has been on for two weeks, not do anything. Your child has been coughing for six months, not do anything. You, ah! And then you're bringing this child halfway on earth, halfway to heaven. My mom to perform magic. But I remember, where have you been? Where have you been? Like, where have you been? Anyway. This is how I'm going to end the video. It's already 10 minutes into the video, so like, <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and share and tell others to tell others. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you. <laughs>